Well, just, uh, you know, another good job in midweek. We've been really good midweek. we got to carry that consistency over to the weekend. But, you know, again, midweeks are tough. If you look around the country, uh, teams have a tough time at times with them. And we, we had our fair share a few years back, but we've, we've done a pretty good job. And uh, it starts on the mound. And uh, Jake did a great job there giving us three innings. We knew we were going to throw a lot of guys. And uh, I thought our bullpen did an excellent Excellent job. It was all, you know, basically bullpen guys for the most part, I guess, that came in and, and threw and all, all of them did great. And uh, we did a good job putting up three in the first inning. And I thought we swung the bat in general pretty good. Anytime you get 10 hits as a team, that's a good thing. Played pretty solid defense. I know we made the one error that ball was hit hard at Yo-Yo, but we'd like to make that play. All in all, pretty complete game from our guys. All right, Gino, our first question for you comes from Cal Friedman of WVUM. Cal, go ahead. Coach, congratulations on the win. A couple questions. Firstly, your bullpen was exceptional all weekend in Chapel Hill. And tonight you go through six arms and you shut out an FGCU team that has some of the top bats in their conference. What has clicked for the relievers recently these last couple of games? Well, I mean, our relievers are strong. We're deep in our bullpen. Um, you know, to say one thing for all of them that has clicked, I mean, today I'd like to say we did a pretty good job of throwing strikes. Uh, they did hit quite a few fly balls. I always like to see balls on the ground, but, but Florida Gulf Coast is a team. If you look at their stats uh, and their splits, they hit a lot of fly balls. So they get the, they get, they get the ball up in the air, but you know, in the most part, I thought we did a pretty good job of pounding the zone. We, we were ahead of hitters most of the time, I think. And um, you know, I don't think we struck out a lot of guys. I think what we do walk three of their guys struck out five. So we did pitch the contact. I believe they hit a lot of fly balls, but, not anything really driven too well. So I'd have to watch the video to see the location of pitches, but bottom line is, you know, they're probably throwing strikes when you're getting those swings. So um, it, just in general, to answer your question and you're going about the, the weekend, I mean, we feel good about our bullpen. It's just getting to them at the right time. We don't need to be going to them in the fourth inning on weekends. That's not what we want to do. So I think a big key certainly is, um, you know, we got to get our starters to go more deeper in the game on games on these weekends and go to guys a little bit later instead of going to them early. But our bullpen, very confident in our bullpen. Uh, we have had some inconsistencies at time, but but uh, our bullpen is, uh, is is certainly one of the strengths of our team. And then we saw Victor Madero side of the bullpen for the first time tonight. He pitched two innings, kept it relatively clean. But I wanted to ask for your thoughts on his performance. Okay. Okay, uh, I, I thought he, um, you know, he had some balls that he, he left up a little bit. Uh, I know he gave up a couple hits, didn't have any strikeouts or walks, but I thought he threw okay. But having said that, he hasn't thrown in a while. So in fairness to him, you know, that's a little tough. His time that he's thrown has just been bullpens coming into the game live for the first time uh, in, in quite some time, I think is uh, is not easy. So he was definitely not... Uh, maybe as polished as he normally would be. But um, again, we needed to get him in, get his feet wet and get him going because he didn't throw over the weekend. And again, it's been some time. So, uh, but he's a guy that we'd like to be able to have some kind of um, position in our bullpen somewhere uh, that we can go to him. And so it was, that's a positive today is getting a lot of these guys in there uh, to throw, you know, an inning or two other than Jake through three. Um, just because these guys needed to do that, you know, it's better than throwing the bullpens. I, that, that's what we would like to get them to throw live like that. And they're all, they'll all be ready for the weekend. All those guys. All right, Gina, we're going to go to Gabriel Garcia of lemon city live. Gabe, go ahead. Hey coach, congrats on the win. Um, as you probably already know, Adrian played tonight on the outfield. So I wanted your thoughts on your assessment on how happy you were with Carlos Perez behind the plate. Yeah. Well, Carlos caught one of the games. We had a double header at North Carolina. Car Carlos has caught most of our midweek games, I think other than one. And, um, you know, the double header, we're not going to catch Del Castillo, uh, 18 innings. It's just, I don't think that's right to do that. Not at this stage anyways, maybe in a regional. And I, you know, I don't even know about that because it's hot in regionals. But Carlos caught really good up in North Carolina, uh, and I thought he swung the bat well. And of course, he came in big on Sunday with a huge, probably our biggest hit of the game, the pinch hit, uh, two out. Was it a, a double, two RBI double? I think Dave was what it was, but it was a big, big hit for us. And um, 
he's he's very he's he's very talented. He's going to be a very good player for us. He's already came in as a highly touted guy, defensive skills, very, very good catch and throw guy. Does a good job of blocking true freshman. I mean, yeah, he, he, he's, he's very good. And, and we've been happy watching him swing the bat. It's just, it's hard to get him in the lineup. And that's kind of why we, we put Dell in right because I didn't want to take Gill out of the lineup again, like we did in North Carolina after Gill got three hits in the first game of the double header and we end up catching Perez and we DH'd Dell and had to take, of course, Gill out of the lineup, which is crazy, but, but I don't really, you know, it's hard to put him somewhere because you're not going to take Yo-Yo or Terrell out. So today we, we, Dell has played in the outfield before. looks like he had, he never stopped playing. I mean, he looked very good in BP today, watching him go after balls. And although he didn't have any tough balls today, he looked, he looked like he, he has been there before and he has, he, played his whole freshman year there and I think he started one game last year in right field so uh it was and Gil sw swinging the bat he everything every bat, bat just about Gil hit the ball hard today so we got to find a way when Perez is catching we're probably going to have to do that kind of lineup we don't want to lose Gil's bat I know that all right Gino our last question for you comes from Christopher Stock of Inside the U Chris go ahead yeah, Gino, just do you have an update on Ben Wanger? Um, how's he doing? Is he getting anywhere close? I, I guess just it's about a month, I guess, since last yeah. time. The, the thing with Ben, it's, it's got set back. He, he would be more ahead and very close because everything went really good with the surgery. Uh, the rehab's been going well. He's way ahead. He got he got mono. He got mono and that set him back. He's fine right now, but the doctors, because of the mono, and uh, sometimes, I guess with the mono, I guess you get some internal things you got to be worried about and him throwing and using that part of his body, uh, the doctors are concerned, even though I think Ben wants to go, but we got to be careful with him. So we've held him back where we're, he'd be a lot closer than being ready to start. So right now, I think Ben is, he's on a program where he's throwing, you know, 120 feet today and then 100, maybe 120 tomorrow and then 150 uh, Thursday. I I think we're working him up to where he'll throw a bullpen on Monday and we'll see where he's at there. And uh, hopefully we'll get him back sh soon after that, but he won't be going to uh, Boston with us.